Welcome to Nauf's Nonsense. Now, if you live in one of these countries, you drive on the right side of the road. And if you live in one of these countries, you drive on the left side of the road. Have you ever wondered why that is? I'm from the United States, and I'm always wondering, why does anybody drive on the left side of the road? People in the UK, what are you doing? But the more appropriate question actually is, why does anybody drive on the right side of the road? Let me explain. So about 35% of the world's countries drive on the left side of the road, prominently the United Kingdom and former UK colonies. In order to understand this, we have to go back a bit further to medieval times when people weren't driving cars, but they were riding horses. Now, most people are right-handed. Because of this, medieval swordsmen riding horses preferred to be on the left side of the path or whatever they're riding on, so their right hand was free and closer to their opponent that they would be riding by so they could defend themselves with their sword. In addition, it's a lot easier for right-handed people, the majority of the population, to mount a horse from the left side. And it would be safer to mount and dismount onto the side of the road rather than into the middle of traffic, making it a natural choice because most of the population was right-handed for traffic, horse traffic, to flow on the left-hand side of the roads. Probably some dirt paths back in the day. However, in the 1700s, people in France and the United States started hauling a lot of farm equipment with multiple horses and big wagons. Now, the wagons had no driver's seat, so the driver would sit on the rear left horse so he could keep his right arm free to leash the horses and control them. Since he's sitting on the left, it's only natural for traffic to pass on the left, making this sort of the origin for people driving on the right side of the road, where they pass each other on each other's left. And we've got, of course, this guy shows up in everything, Napoleon, his conquests to other countries sort of spread this driving on the right side of the road. Now, keep in mind when I'm saying driving, we're talking mostly about horses and carriages here at this point, right? But the countries that resisted Napoleon, notably the UK, kept their original traffic flow on the left side of the road system. With the expansion of roads and traveling by roads in the 1800s, every country made regulations for which side of the road they would travel on. And left side driving was made mandatory in Britain in 1835. Countries that were part of the British Empire followed suit. So in the early years of the colonization, England's colonization of North America, there were British travel regulations and customs driving on the left side of the road. But once the United States gained independence from big brother Britain there, we wanted to cut all ties and we just decided we're gonna go right side of the road. And the first law in the United States for drivers to keep to the right side of the road was passed in Pennsylvania in 1792. And then we've got Henry Ford's Model T, which put the driver's seat on the left side, meaning it was made for right flow traffic, and that was spread and mass produced, and that really cemented right side of the road driving in a lot of countries and territories. After World War II, every country on mainland Europe was driving on the right side of the road, except for Sweden. They were holding strong. But then in 1955, the Swedish government uh, held a referendum to vote on whether or not they would switch to right side of the road driving. And basically 83% of Swedish people voted no, but they implemented it anyway. In the 1960s, Great Britain actually considered changing themselves, but they decided against it. They held strong with their old school drive on the left side of the road ways. So that is sort of a quick little look on why the United Kingdom drives on the left side of the road still, and a lot of other countries like the United States and most of mainland Europe drive on the right side of the road. It's crazy, it goes all the way back to the medieval days of knights riding horses with swords in their hands. Interesting. Thank you for listening to my nonsense.